We're going live again on this second day of the fast. This is Thursday, uh, the second day of our first fruit fast uh, for April 2020. Uh, some people are going to be joining us, so we're going to wait just a minute and let people get geared up. We were going to go live at 6 o'clock, but we're going live a few minutes early tonight. Um, coming to the end of our second day of our fast and trusting God and believing God. Uh, to hear us when we pray. Shelby, it's good to see you joining us live. Uh, we're going to start our prayer here within about the next minute, believing God to hear us and answer us as we're praying against this coronavirus and everything that is done against our economy uh, is called certain people to lose their job. Uh, Jamie, thank you for joining us live as well. Um, it's called certain people to be laid off during this time and some people have been facing some tight times. And we're just believing God to uh, give deliverance and breakthrough. Uh, Nellie, thank you for joining us as well uh, on Facebook Live here. I want to read the scriptures. We're starting out today from the book of John, chapter 14. Uh, forgive the background noise again. We're on our front porch, uh, and there's a road right beside us. Coming to you from the book of John, chapter 14. Uh, let's start at verse. Uh, let's start at verse 11. Believe me, Jesus says, when I say to you, I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to my Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may be bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my father's name and I will do it we can ask anything from the father in the name of Jesus and he will do it we have an economy right now that's been attacked by the enemy we have an, uh, an economy that's been attacked in such a way that we know that it's going to take God's help to bring us out of it those who are unemployed right now you need God to step up for you in a mighty way and provide for you and I'm telling you that you serve a Jehovah who is named Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our God, our provider. And I believe that today God is showing up for you and that God is going to provide for you. So we're going to ask in the name of Jesus today that God rebukes the devourer on your behalf and on our behalf and gives victory in our economy, in America, in West Virginia, in our own personal communities and personal lives. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity we have to gather together online today and pray in the name of Jesus. You said in your word in John chapter 14, as you were leaving this earth, ask anything in my name and I will do it by my Father who is in heaven. Lord, the miracles you said that you did, we could do and even greater because you've gone to the Father. So today we ask that you would give a breakthrough, a miraculous breakthrough on our behalf and bring healing and bring transformation to this economy of America today. God, our president needs wisdom. Lord God, uh, the House of Representatives, the Senate, Lord God, needs wisdom. There's a stimulus package, Lord God, they're working on. They need wisdom to, to get this stimulus package uh, through uh, the governing beings that, that are there. Lord God, they need breakthrough that they may agree together. Our economy needs jump-started. Lord God, there's people who have, who have even been laid off as of today, and they need a miracle. They need a breakthrough in their life. Things are uncertain for them, so God, they need a miracle. So we pray that you would rebuke the devour on their behalf in the name of Jesus. We've got power and authority in the name of Jesus, and we rebuke every foul spirit of hell, every demon of hell. We command you to go. Things that would try to tighten up things financially on behalf of believers, I command Leviathan to go in the name of Jesus. I command the demon of spirit that would try to... Uh, wreck people's finances or destroy their life in any financial way. And I speak grace into people's finances, yes. healing into people's finances, deliverance into people's finances, breakthrough into people's finances in the name of Jesus. For you are the Lord, our God, our provider, the Lord, our God, our, our healer, the Lord, our God, our sustainer. We know, Father God, that you will protect us and help us. So we tell that spirit of mammon be broken off of God's people's finances. And we declare a spirit of prosperity 
prosperity, a spirit of favor, a spirit of deliverance, and a spirit of breakthrough to people's lives. And we declare that our local economy is healed in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Our state economy is healed in Jesus' name. America's economy is healed in Jesus' name. The world economy is healed in Jesus' name. Coronavirus, you have to be broken. The attack of it and the fear of it has to be broken in Jesus' name. We decree deliverance right now in the name and the authority of Jesus Christ. We declare a loosening of finances, Lord God, back into our economy, back into our churches, back into our workplaces, that jobs are reinstated virus is gone and that the effects of this virus is gone and that there's a miracle turnaround in people's body and deliverance in people's lives in Jesus' name. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your grace today. For greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. And we praise you for it. We thank you, God, that as we fasted yesterday, you heard us as we prayed and fasted both. As we prayed and fasted today, you've heard us again. And we believe, Father God, that as you hear us, that you're the God that's restored storing us in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, for those that are listening and that are tuning in, I pray that there will be a restoration of their finances even now, a healing of their finances even now, a breakthrough for their finances even now in Jesus' name. God, back in the days of Elijah, you brought food to him at the town him, Lord God, during those days of famine. So I believe, Lord God, that the same miracle God that was there for Elijah of old is here for life, is healing our life, and is helping our life in Jesus' name. If people are without, without food right now, God restore them. If there's people, Father God, that are, that are losing hope, God restore them even now. And may you be the God of help, the God of restoration, and the God of peace in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. One of the things that we know about the Father is that his name also means source. The Father is the source of all life. In him we have life. In him we have abundance. In him we have favor. In him we have blessing. So we can ask the Father who is our source to resource us, to give us resources from heaven, to abundantly bless our lives. And I declare that as you continually stay faithful to God, as you tithe and as you give and as you sow into God's kingdom, you're opening up the hand of God and he's rebuking the devourer on your behalf and he's giving you favor. He's giving you blessings. He's giving you increase. He's giving you the favor that you need to excel in a time of famine. I decree if you look back in God's word, that Elijah excelled during the days of famine, and you are a child of God just like he's a child of God. And I prophetically declare into your life that favor is upon you, blessing is upon you, increase is upon you, the goodness of God is upon you, and that God will provide for you supernaturally in ways you did not know exist, and God will show up for you even this day. I'm expecting to hear miracles. I just, I, I just encourage you to instant message me or, or put some Facebook post out there and share with, with me and with others how God is providing for you even supernaturally in this season. Yes. The Word of God says all the way back in the book of Exodus that God told his people, when you leave Egypt's bondage, I want you to ask from them. I want you to ask from them articles of silver, articles of gold, and articles of, of clothing. And the Word of God says that in that day, that uh, let's start in verse 36 that God's people plundered Egypt as they left Egypt's bondage and I decree right now that believers have come out of Egypt a long time ago however long you've been saved you came out of Egypt's bondage and I declare today that you are allowed to plunder whatever the enemy feels like he has stolen from you. You can declare it back into your life. You can speak it back into your life. So whatever poverty is trying to come against you, I break it in the name of Jesus by the authority of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, he's got to return it back to you a hundredfold. I speak it back into your life. Whatever the enemy thought he could rob from you, I declare that God restores it back to you. Your health, I declare he restores back to you your wealth. I declare he restores back to your peace. I, just, I declare he restores back to you your health even now and that the favor of God enriches your life and overtakes your life and you find yourself abundantly blessed in Christ. Remember, as a believer, you're not just dependent upon an economy that is here. 
There is more for you than just temporal economy. God's economy is greater than the American economy or Japan's economy or the Philippines economy or wherever you might be right now. God's economy is greater. There is no famine in the Father's house. Amen. And the Father that you and I have provides for us and takes care of us and blesses us and multiplies His grace and goodness to our lives. So I declare that God's banner is over the top of you. God's goodness is upon you. God's grace is multiplied to you and every Everything you have need is provided to you by the Father, by the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. It is done even now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, everyone who has joined us today uh, to end this day in prayer, I pray, God, that you would sh just lavish them with blessings, lavish them with peace, lavish them with favor, and lavish them with your goodness. Okay. I thank you, God, that you provide for us, that you love us, that you take care of us, yes. and that you bless us abundantly. I pray that you would bless each of them indeed and enlarge their territory. May your hand be with them. Would you keep them from evil that they may not cause pain? If they're business owners, restore their business even now. Father God, if they're an employee, restore their jobs even now. Yes. Father God, if they're in retirement, I pray that no danger would come to their retirement and nothing would be taken from them. And anything that's been stolen from their portfolio financially is restored to them supernaturally yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you. I thank you, Father God, for being with your people. I thank you for being for your people. And I thank you for being in your people today you. in the glorious and powerful and matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For every one of you who joined us in this day of fasting and prayer, I want to say thank you. I want to encourage you to join us again tomorrow for the third and final day of our First Fruits Fast for April 2020. We're believing that in the First Fruits Fast tomorrow that God is going to hear our prayer and restore us back into our houses of worship. I believe that God is going to hear us and let us come back together again and worship God in spirit and in truth. Uh, at Family Worship Center and campuses all abroad. I want every church in Beckley, West Virginia restored. I want every church in America restored. I want churches around the world to be restored and that God causes us to be more effective in March and in April of 2020 than any time previous. Mm -hmm. I want God's grace to flow supernaturally. I want you to fast and pray with us tomorrow also that more souls will be saved because of the coronavirus than anything that was ever taken from us. And we'll see backsliders come home, yes. prodigals restored. Mm -hmm. We'll see souls saved and lives changed and people wanting to the kingdom of God. I believe that tomorrow our first fruits fast will be our greatest day yet. Also, before we close out, just want to say thank you to Bishop Tim Hill, our, our uh, general overseer, who's called a week of fasting and prayer uh, from the general headquarters. I, I am just seeing... Uh, so many people gather together in this moment in time. Yeah. I believe that our faith is growing. I believe our prayers are being heard. I believe that our humbling ourselves in a time of fasting, God is seeing mm -hmm. and God is responding and God is blotting out the coronavirus. Yes. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I declare that may God himself lift his countenance over you and he himself give you peace. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.